Welcome to Baggins Book Summaries. In this episode, we'll be exploring the exciting and suspenseful world of J.R.R. Tolkien's classic novel, The Hobbit. At the end of Chapter 4, Bilbo fell off of Dory's shoulders, banging his head on a rock. Gandalf and the dwarves continue their escape from the Goblin Caverns, and Chapter 5 begins with Bilbo finding himself alone in a dark tunnel, and he must find his way out to rejoin his company. Join us as we delve into this thrilling adventure of wits and discover the power of the ring. Bilbo wakes up in the dark and finds himself alone in a tunnel. He can see nothing and hears nothing, but he's able to find his way to a cavern wall by crawling on all fours. He finds a small ring lying on the floor which he pockets without much thought. He becomes very discouraged and he thinks about his home and his desire for food. He then finds his pipe and tobacco, but he realizes he has no matches. He feels comforted when he discovers he has his little sword from the troll cave with him. He decides to move forward and begins to trot along the tunnel, feeling his way with one hand on the wall and with his sword in front of him. He encounters passages leading off to the side, but he doesn't take notice of them for fear of goblins or the dangers of the unknown. He continues on, walking for what seems like an eternity, but eventually he splashes into ice-cold water. He has no idea if it's a pool in the path, an underground stream, or a subterranean lake. He can only hear the sound of dripping water. It is then when Bilbo encounters Gollum, a pale-eyed creature living on an island in the middle of the dark lake in the heart of a mountain. Gollum is a slimy and sneaky creature who hunts for food and has a habit of speaking to himself. When he meets Bilbo, he's curious about him and his sword, and he tries to appear friendly by asking him to play a game of riddles. Bilbo agrees, but he's cautious about the creature as he's unsure about its intentions. They begin playing their game of riddles, where Gollum would eat Bilbo if he didn't guess the answer to the riddle correctly. Bilbo is clever and has heard similar riddles before and was able to answer most of them. However, when Gollum posed a difficult riddle, Bilbo had trouble coming up with an answer, but he finally guesses correctly. Bilbo came up with another riddle quickly to keep Gollum occupied. The riddles were a, a way for Bilbo to gain time and keep Gollum from eating him. After multiple back and forth rounds, Bilbo is out of ideas for new riddles and asks, what have I got in my pocket? Gollum is upset by the question, but is allowed three guesses. Gollum fails to answer the riddle and is required to keep his promise to show Bilbo the way out. Gollum agrees, but secretly plans to come back later and capture Bilbo. He goes away to his island to retrieve some things that would help him catch Bilbo. Bilbo is lost and hears Gollum wailing about losing something. Bilbo calls out and Gollum is startled and asks what Bilbo has in his pockets. Bilbo is annoyed at the delay and says Gollum never answered his last question. Gollum becomes suspicious and his eyes light up, causing Bilbo to turn and run back to the dark passage. Bilbo's hand slips into his pocket and he feels the ring as Gollum's eyes come closer. Bilbo stumbles and falls, but Gollum runs past him without noticing. Bilbo is confused but follows Gollum anyway. Bilbo finds himself lost in the dark with Gollum. Gollum leads Bilbo to the way out, but they are unable to actually get out as there are many goblins between them and the exit. Gollum becomes tense and on guard, ready to spring, and Bilbo begins imagining his life in the dark caverns forever and is desperate to get away with a sudden understanding and pity. He leaps away from Gollum, revealing the power of the ring he found that makes him invisible. Bilbo jumps over Gollum and runs down a new tunnel. Gollum gives up his pursuit and lets out a blood-curdling scream. Bilbo hears the scream and is frightened, but he continues on. The tunnel is low and difficult to navigate, but Bilbo eventually sees a glimpse of light and he runs towards it. He finds himself in an open space and sees goblins waiting for him near the door. The ring slips onto Bilbo's finger, making him invisible to the goblins. The goblins search for Bilbo, but he manages to hide behind a barrel. He tries to reach the door, but he becomes stuck as his buttons become wedged in the crack of the slightly open door. Bilbo's coat tears, causing buttons to burst off and allowing him to escape, slipping in and out of the shadows of the trees. In Chapter 5, Bilbo Baggins found himself in a dark and dangerous situation as he navigated a cavern and encountered Gollum. Through a game of riddles, Bilbo is able to outsmart Gollum and escape, but he finds himself pursued and trapped once again. It is only through the discovery and use of the small ring that he found earlier that Bilbo was able to become invisible and evade danger. 
Despite the obstacle he faces, Bilbo shows bravery and quick thinking, ultimately making his way out of the tunnels and towards his new adventure. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Baggins Book Summaries. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and let us know what you think. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an episode. We have many more exciting adventures from Middle Earth to share with you, so stay tuned. Feel free to leave a book summary recommendation in the comments on your way out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of Baggins Book Summaries. Until then, happy reading.